Hello friends, welcome to my video and this is the second part of my last video which was introduction to basic tools. In this video, I am going to show you some more tools in SketchUp. So let's get started. The tool which I will discuss in this video is the paint bucket tool. Uh, as you can see over here this is the paint bucket tool so for that I'll just simply draw a rectangle and uh, I'll just extrude it to make it a cuboid and I'll show you how the paint bucket tool works so friends uh, you can just click on this bucket tool you can uh, see over here that a lot of uh, uh, so many materials are already available in SketchUp for you to select from them so I'll just randomly select any one of the material over here like this I'll select this one and I'll just click on the surface to get it applied you can see that the scale is very small friends so to change the scale you just have to go over here in, uh, to this edit and uh, from here you can change the scale from here now it is 1.19 I'll change it to uh, say 3 so you can see that the scale uh, has been changed so in this way you can change the scale uh, let's make it even bigger I'll do it 5 and you can see that the scale has been changed now if you want to change the color or uh, make it darker you can do it from here this way I'll just uh, make it uh, somewhat dark and I'll also change the color a little bit so you can see that the color has also been changed now I'll simply apply some other material like um, I'll just go to vegetation and I'll apply this green over here now again I have to change the scale because it appears so small so I'll just do it 10. Uh, now you can see uh, that uh, material has been applied. Uh, now friends if you want to create an entirely new material like uh, uh, if you have selected some image from the internet and you want that to be applied to your model so for that uh, you can see over here it is uh, with the plus sign this is the create material tool you can click on this create material and now uh, you can see this uh, use texture image from here uh, you can just click on this and then you can uh, select from your desktop whatever image you have and then uh, that you can use that image as a texture uh, and you can add it to your uh, SketchUp model. So uh, also you can see over here this is the dropper tool that is sample paint tool like if you want this material to be selected and you want to apply it somewhere else then you can click uh, on this dropper you can take uh, it, the dropper to the material you want to select and then you can see that it has been selected and then you can apply this material on some other surface also. So in this way you can use this dropper tool. So uh, friends this was the uh, paint bucket tool and the next tool that I'll move to is uh, the shadow tool. Now uh, friends you can see that uh, in my model the shadow is already appearing over here. But if you are using SketchUp and if you are not able to see a shadow then what you have to do is you just have to go to this view and here shadow and you just have to click on it. Uh, since it was already ticked so now it has disappeared. So I'll just click on it and you can see the shadow has appeared. Now if you want to change the length and depth of the shadow then you have to go on uh, go to view toolbars and then you have to uh, click on the sh uh, shadow. Uh, here you can see that shadow and I'll just click on it and upload it. So you can see that the shadow the uh, icons have appeared over here and in this you can see that uh, from January to December uh, and uh, from morning to evening time and uh, months are written over here so you can change this bar according to the uh, months of the year to change the shadow and also the time from morning to evening to change the uh, length of the shadow and the direction in which it appears so in this way you can uh, apply shadow to your material and also change it uh, now if you want to uh, different styles are available in SketchUp uh, you can see over here uh, this uh, if it is not appearing on your SketchUp then you just again you have to go to view toolbars and then you have to click uh, in on styles from here uh, you can see over here styles I have just ticked on it if you click on it it will appear over here you can see the first one is this x-ray second one is packages 
third one is wireframe hidden line shaded shaded with texture and monochrome if i click on this x-ray you can see that uh, it becomes a little bit uh, translucent and uh, i'm able to see the inside of the model also from the outside if I click on the second one, uh, the back edges are appearing. You can see that the dotted back edges are also visible in this. And the third one is wireframe, just wire. And next one is the hidden line. Uh, you can see lines are hidden. And uh, then this one is the shaded but uh, the textures are not appearing just the shades are appearing and then this is the shaded with texture so in this way different styles are also available for you friends you can just uh, uh, use them to uh, uh, if you want to see the uh, back edges of your model or if you wanted to make any correction to your model now uh, you can also see these views uh, tool uh, over here so if you click on this uh, this is the 3d uh, the second one is the top if you directly want the top view of the model then you can simply click on this top uh, and get the top view of the model yeah. then the next one is the front view this is the front view then the back view and uh, other views if you uh, want to use them you can use it it is very helpful if you are uh, if you are lost in your model somewhere and you just have to uh, go to the front view of your model you can simply click on it and uh, then you can zoom it out and the front view would appear over here and uh, if you uh, don't want the front view to be in perspective you can go to camera and you can do it parallel projection and uh, in this way the front view would uh, be uh, in elevation and not in perspective so I'll just change it again to perspective so and again friends if uh, this doesn't appear over here you just again have to go to view toolbars and from here you have to click on the views tool and uh, that will appear over here so uh, that's all friends for this video and uh, in my next video I'll also show I'll introduce you to some other tools also um, so if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe and uh, don't forget to leave any comment if you want to say something or if you have any suggestions for me for my next video please comment in the comment section below and if you have yet not watched my last video please do watch it because I haven't discussed the tools which I have discussed in my last video in this video so please do watch it.